Hi, welcome back to Planner Apocalypse, where I'm going to be setting up my homeschool planner for the month of December. A little bit late, but better late than ever. So story time. This planner that I spent so much time putting together in that video that I will link, I actually haven't been using. <laughs> and I, I set up all of my, my pages, you know, like I went through the goal setting process here, did all the calendar whatnots, but this year has been a bit of a shit show. Apologies for the language. And I just have not been really using the planner and so now that we're in December I've been avoiding touching this thing like the plague so I feel like I need to just start fresh without any of the hang-ups associated so I'm back in my A5 rings for homeschool and I only printed out one month and it's completely undated <laughs> so I think part of part of the problem was that you know this is dated and I went through and I used up all of these stickers to date the entire thing and now I'm like oh my god I'm not using it so I need to function so I'm going to be just pulling out these pages and transferring this stuff into here and just being in here uh, because, you know, if, if you have issues that are keeping you from accessing your planner, whether that is, you know, physical or mental or emotional, that's, that's a problem. So I think also part of the issue is that I store finished pages, like after the year's over in like a giant three ring binder. And these are oh, like, you have to punch them. They're a little bit weird because like one of the punch holes, you know, falls over here and it's not very secure but with with the a5 rings it's not perfect but it uses the holes that are there I don't know what I'm trying to say I just need I just need to start fresh is the the short of it there so um, yeah I'm probably also gonna be stripping this of anything dated um, and any any stickers because I've I've got this undo stuff which lets you just take out stickers and you can actually reuse the stickers later. That was really good. Um, I learned that from, if I can remember her channel, I'll link her channel. Um, but she's a happy planner person. I think she's on the squad this year, but anyway. So yeah, this is being retired and I'm probably going to upcycle it with like undated pages like the rest of the homeschool and teacher planners that I have. Um, and I'm, they will be, you know, for sale in my shop at some point when the 32 pound paper goes back down in price. So that's that. Typically I use a friction pen when I'm doing my homeschool stuff because I tend to erase a lot. I feel a lot more comfortable in the A5 size to be honest. I don't know why. Like the, the letter size, I was almost back in letter size but that's way too big for me. So um, here I am. Yay. The wee baby size. I I was considering using mini Happy Planner, like uh, the little dashboard layout, but I I haven't figured out how I would use it for homeschool yet. Other than like use each one of these things for your subjects and these for like daily appointments. I don't really know. Yeah, let's just get get to get going here. What do I want to do? I would like. Let's get some stampy boos. Stamp, stamp, stamp a Um, I, I typically don't decorate my planner when I'm homeschool planning, but um, I kind of want to try it this time. I'm just trying to find all my stamps that I have. Okay, so I've got a variety of things here. I'm looking for my Coffee Monsters Co. stamps. They don't have numbers, but that's fine. Okay, well, they're they're available if I need them, and same with this funny cat thing, and this is probably what I'm looking for here. This has weather things. Okay, so we're going to start by opening this guy up, and I got this from Stationery Pal. I kind of feel like this is the same stamp set from Dawn Fawn or something like that on Amazon that I've, I've seen. I could be wrong. Let's make it really fun. So... I have this long cat. Oh, 
right here. Excuse me, long cat. That's a man. That is shame on you. Okay, well, we must take this out, apparently, to stamp on it. That's silly. I'm not gonna re-ink it because I don't wanna have too many like weird lines. There we go. That's cute. I got this from Jet Pens, by the way. My son loves cats, so and and actually so do I. So that's that's what these are here for, for moral support. And it is December. So we're gonna take the little December stamp. Ta-da! <laughs> December. It looks better already. I, it did not really bleed through, so that's nice. If it does, it does. Um, ooh, we got some snowflakes. Ta-da. Oh no. Oh well. Ooh. I'm a messy stamper, I guess. Okay, and this, this also does come with like the days of the week and season type things. Like this is obviously winter. We got rain, lightning, rainbow. I'm assuming this is for autumn, this is for spring, summer, or even sunny. Not like my son, Sunny. <laughs> uh, you got a moon, you got a cloud, a little heart. So nice. So I, I'm assuming also, oh, a little, little smiley face, that these are your weekly numbers and then these would be your monthly numbers. So focus this month is gonna be, we have been doing things, I just haven't been meticulously planning out things in in my planner, I've just been kind of, you know, being a leaf in the wind, which is honestly, I, I do that a lot. So going into what I would normally do if I was being good, like what I did last year, you know, I would check the monthly theme ideas, which I did not finish filling out, obviously. Um, I would check the monthly theme ideas and then I would use that to build, you know, some stuff. So we're, let's actually, let's fill that out for, well, no, I don't want to fill it out in here because we're going to be transferring all that stuff because I'm, I'm insane. Sometimes you just need a clean break. Okay. No judges. No judges. And that's including me. Um, because I, I just, I'm having, I'm having a, a time. <laughs> you know what? We're going to salvage some of these stickers out of here. I think that's a good idea. I will show you. I will demonstrate for you the power that is undo. Let's get some of these right here. Okay, so we've got this cute little guy here. Somehow your pages don't get totally ruined, which I'm very surprised about. So it comes with a little, sc ooh, <laughs> I say that and then ruin my page. Um, I meant, you know, ink wise, but um, well, that's fine. So then you, you let it dry, it comes with a little scraper on it, and then you can actually just stick it right, whoopsie, right there, and it sticks, it's fine. Isn't that cool? I think it's cool. The focus this month in December, according to my little calendar, which I laid out all my, my terms and such, we are in the second term, and that's going to end on the 21st at this rate. I was originally going to take the solstice off, but I think we've just missed too much stuff, um, like hardcore stuff. So, focus this month is going to be, so we, we had in September, it was cleaning and decluttering, which are important life skills, by the way. October, September, October was writing, that's what that was, uh, like story uh, character arcs and, and stuff like that. We actually haven't finished with that yet because I was sick for about a month straight, coughing ridiculously, it hurt very much. So we are going to finish story structure, or no, you know what we're gonna do? That can, that can be a thing, that's not gonna be the main focus. I think the main focus is gonna be making plushies or sewing. I want to, what are my goals? All right, events and outings. Do we have an, any events happening? Probably not, we're kind of hermits. Um, important dates, so the 7th, uh, 14th, and you know what, I'll just write Wednesdays because um, there's a therapy appointment. Wednesdays with Gabe. And then we have December 8th is 
uh, Sonny's dad's birthday. The 11th is um, Uncle Doug's wedding. So Sonny will be going to that. And then the 21st is solstice. And then the 22nd through the 2nd is break. But the 20, I think it's the 26th through the 1st is with dad. Um, Sunny's here for Christmas this year, so that's nice. And then we have goals. What goals do we have? I would like Sunny to make a pattern for doll body. Let's say do laundry every week, set a day. That way when visitation happens, it's not a giant rush to get laundry done and it doesn't get in the way of um, us leaving. <laughs> I know he needs more storage for like his figures and stuff like that he's got in his room. What to do about that? We might go to my parents' house, so that would be an outing. But my mom also has pneumonia right now, um, so I don't know if she really wants company, um, but it is Christmas time. <laughs> Alright, and then to do, we've got get sewing supplies, we've got um, transfer, the, the to-do, like basically this, this page is also for me. It doesn't have to necessarily be for, you know, sunny to-do. Transfer, homeschool, stuff to A5, and I know I have more things. So pattern making. I don't know why I wrote that because it's basically the same thing. Um, install RPG Maker because he wants to make a game and I feel like that's going to be something that we're going to be focusing on in the new year. All right, and like this, this spot is for notes and stuff like that. Let's go wake up in the morning, please, and thank you. Mm, ridiculous. Sleeps forever. Now we have this blank, undated calendar that I have to date and... That's okay. So we're gonna take that and we're gonna we're gonna fast forward through this as I, you know, date my my doohickey here. Do I really wanna use tiny stamps to date this when I could just use my hands? I'm I'm going to not do that. But we are going to use a stamp that says December because I just want to use my stamps. December. The theme that I'm going for this month, plushies this fat one that marker here um and that bleeds okay well that's something to know we're gonna use it anyway let's see okie dokie so visitation is here and visitation is here and then we have also so the 22nd into the new year. That is gonna be winter break. And I'm gonna mark that, I suppose, with some terrible hand lettering. Unless I have like a stamp. I don't have a stamp. I don't have a stamp. I might have a stamp. I feel like those are Peg's stamps, by the way. Um, I'm pretty sure I have teacher stamps in here somewhere. I'm sorry, this is this is what my life is like. It's just ADHD chaos in here, okay? Alrighty. We have no school. We have holiday. And my daughter has a teacher conference. Um, and I forgot that I have to take those out. That's annoying. That's really annoying. So we've got... Holidays, right here. Uh, then, no school, that's right. No school, no school. So that's fine, great, great work. And then we have some birthdays in this month. And then we have visitation. Sure, that's that's how that works. Good job. Okay. All right. So we we are currently today is the seventh. So our weekly theme for this week is going to be making patterns. Uh, next week we'll do some stitches. I'm super tired. <sighs> I think that's a bit silly. 
All right, so we're gonna make patterns this week. I'm just gonna leave this open. I can't think straight right now, but um, alrighty. Unit study theme is uh, plushies. I have a brain dump here and I will be quiet while I do that. My son kind of wants to glue them so he doesn't have to learn how to sew, but he has also expressed interest in learning how to sew, so I don't know how to how to approach this. So, um, you know, this this seems a bit too focused for a, a theme, I suppose, for a monthly theme. So, like, what I would usually do is, for example, you know, animals, and then every every week we would go through like a different. Um, kingdom of animals or whatever like you know, have your birds and your mammals and your fish and all that other fun stuff let me write down appointments and it does it bleeds right through <laughs> My stuff like way too big for the box because I don't know how to make it small. <laughs> Normally, you know, you'd have your monthly theme, let's say again it's animals, um, and you have your weekly themes, then you would break it out into different subjects. That's if you wanted to. You could literally just be like, I this these are all, all the crap I want to do, and this is the stuff that I'm gonna do it. So that's kind of like how um how I'm gonna do it right now. Uh, I'm losing everything, including my mind. So we've got the Bungo Stray Dogs Writer Spotlights. I don't know that we'll be able to get through everything with that. I feel like that's a really big thing. I don't know. That might have to be pushed off until next month. That might be a whole term. Um, project kind of thing. RPG maker, pattern making, okay. All right, so language arts, we were gonna do Bungo Stray Dogs writer spotlights. Uh, Bungo Stray Dogs, for anyone who doesn't know, is, is an anime that um, my son and I have been watching, and all of the characters are actually based on writers, um, Japanese writers, we have, you know, American writers. I think we've infiltrated like the European writers. Is it Tolstoy? Anyway, there's a Russian writer that he's like the antagonist of, of the current, you know, spot that we're, we're in. But I thought it would be fun to learn more about those writers. I, Edgar Allan Poe is one of them, so I think it would be fun to learn about those writers because it's fun to see what your anime characters are based on, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> what is the science we're doing? That's a good question. So I feel like for history, these things are gonna be interconnected. We can go into the authors here, and then we can go into their their actual works over here. Electives, we've got, you know, plushie making, budgeting. We also have, okay, I run my homeschool a little bit uh, differently than most other people. I am an accidental homeschooler, which means that I I didn't set out to do this. Um, I felt like this was the best choice for my son. I pulled him out of public school um, because of bullying and the lack of support from the teachers. He has ADHD and not sure if there's another learning difference there or not. There's, um, we need to do some more appointments there, but public school was not a good fit for him. It was actually quite toxic. So I pulled him out and I'm like, what the hell am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. And I pulled him out in high school of all places. So it's been challenging. Um, there's been a lot of stumbling around in the dark. That's kind of why I made this homeschool planner because it's, you know, to try to help me focus down and also like if there are any other accidental homeschoolers out there that are like, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. First of all, I'm not an expert. I've only been doing this for like three or four years. There's a lot of good information out there, but at the end of the day, your kid is your kid. You know, what works for everyone else's kids might not work for your kid. And I came across that issue many times with my son. So, you know, he, he doesn't learn well from books and he, he doesn't necessarily learn well from lectures either. There are some memories 
memory issues and we're not sure again if it's like a neurobiological thing or if it's an ADHD thing but we we do know that or <laughs> we meaning me I do know that if I can build learning around things that he is already interested in, it makes it a lot easier. So that's why we're doing, you know, anime homeschool. I also use visual novels in my homeschool, again, because he can't focus and process a giant wall of text. You know, I'm, I'm not worried about his literacy. Kids these days are texting all the time. They, they, have more access to reading and writing than, you know, like our grandparents did 40, 50, 60, 80 years ago. You know, there there were times where people, as soon as they graduated high school, that would be the last time they wrote anything. That's not the case with, you know, kids these days. Um, so, like, I'm not worried about literacy. He, he can read and stuff like that. It's just, like, reading comprehension over a long wall of text. <laughs> but if you can incite empathy, if you can make connections to the content, I feel like my son does a lot better. So that's, again, why we're doing things like visual novels instead. Because it, it's a game, for anyone who doesn't know, a visual novel is a, a game that it's exactly what it sounds like. You play through scenarios, scenes with, you know, characters, you, there's like a little bar of, of text at the bottom, you have interactive choices, and for the most part, your choices matter. So the investment that, you know, you, you get while playing these things is, is heightened because your choices matter, and you can see it as the story progresses. But anyway, I found that that's a really good way to get my son to be engaged. I play these games with him, so it's a great opportunity to, like, I like playing games anyway, and I play a lot of visual novels myself, but, you know, we'll play them together, we'll talk about, you know, the characters, their character arcs, we'll make guesses about where the story's gonna go based on, you know, what's happening right now, or, like, what characters are acting like right now, how we think they might mess up the story or, or do something. You know, we try to make predictive guesses, and it's it's been really good. So, yeah, if, if you have someone who, who doesn't like reading a lot and you yourself don't mind playing video games, maybe look into some visual novels. Again, it's not going to be for everyone, especially because me and my son play visual novels about death and murder. <laughs> so it's an acquired taste. Not all visual novels are like that though, so uh, you'll have to look around. Anyway, I, that was a huge tangent. What the heck? So language art. We're going to finish our character arc talk. And one of the visual novels that we've been playing has a, like a spin-off or a mini game, and it's resource management, which is a lot of math, and it's tricking him <laughs> because he doesn't realize that he's doing math, but he's doing math. So um, I don't sit him down and be like, this is school time, because I think he would have rebelled if I tried to like tell him that I'm counting this towards school. I, I think that he would just be like, what, what the heck? <laughs> so um, I, I told him after we had played through the game the first time that, you know, I'm, I'm counting this as homeschool because, you know, we've been having really good discussions about it. Like he's been engaged and that, that's been so hard to get, you know, this entire time. So the moral of the story is don't be afraid to, you know, think way outside the box. If your kid is an out-of-the-box kid, then you need to start thinking about solutions that are also out of the box. Science. Hmm. We're gonna leave science, we're gonna come back to it. Alright, so projects and activities. Alright, so we have the plushy making elective. I'm, I'm not sure exactly who he wants to make, so I don't have any details for it. But I guess we're gonna go, like, you know, make pattern. For details, I'm just gonna do, like, action steps. Cut pattern, cut felt, and sew or glue, question mark, because I don't know when that's happening. All right, so install RPG Maker. <laughs> uh, that's not really a project, is it? RPG Maker. All right, media, we've got RPG Maker. <sighs> so I should check Skillshare for RPG Maker classes. All right, so we have felt, 
Uh, we own it. Sunny's room is where to find it. We need for blush. Blushies get by. 12, 7 because the last the last thing came in today. So we have stuffing, uh, poly stuffing, not like a stovetop. <laughs> and we own it. It is in Sunny's room. We need for plushies. Get by 12, 7. We already have it. So um, we can check those off. We need RPG Maker. We own it. Where to find? On Steam. Need for game. <laughs> Get by, let's say, 12, 8. And what else? I need to figure out um, Fungo Stray Dog stuff. So um, BSD authors. Though I guess that's not really a, a resource that you can... Yeah, I just need to look that stuff up. So I'm gonna add that down here. Yeah, this is this is why I don't bother with stickers because I'm like... I'm just trying to bring it up here. All right, so um, I'm gonna skip last week since... Um, this is undated and I, I can do that. So I'm just gonna take out a week and add it to next month. Next year, oh my God. I do have a reading log here, which I have not used yet, but I've been keeping track of the time that we've been um, playing our visual novels. So let's make it all pretty with these stampies. December. And what the heck is today? Today is Wednesday, 7th. Ah, oh, mother of pearl. All right, I gotta take this out. May as well take them both out then. I really, some for some reason, struggled with like the horizontal layout in the, the teacher planner and I also really struggled with the Happy Planner like student color block layout, which is basically the same as this, only this this was a sidebar. But this this somehow works for me. And I I don't get it. Someone please explain to me what in the world. I don't know if it was like the size or what. I think I was trying to log too much in the, the student thingy. And let's see if we have anything to make it pretty. We have plenty of things, but I'm just like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm not gonna do anything. <laughs> Put these back in here. What was the theme this week? Sewing? Making patterns. This is gonna bleed through. I don't know why I'm using this if it bleeds through. Wow, that's really bad. All right, girl, you gotta put this away. Put it away. And would you? Making patterns. Today's Wednesday already, so uh, these these days are dead. Oh, I gotta get newsprint. I mean, I have newsprint, but I'll write it down. We're gonna need scissors. Sewing scissors, please. Needle and thread. Sorry if this is like super boring. I am just not feeling very inspired. I guess we're doing Thursday since it's already at, you know, bedtime. But Tuesday, I think we did the Your Turn to Shine resource management. So we're gonna make patterns tomorrow. And then this is a visitation day, so I need my highlighter again. I kinda wish I had like an everyday thing, but I guess I'll just do it up here because I know what that means. And by everyday thing, I meant like a box that just says today on it because I think that would be helpful. I think in the horizontal ones, that's what you would use this for maybe. I'm not really sure. If I chose to, I could do stuff on the weekend. He's not gonna be here this weekend, so I cannot do that. If you, you just basically, the process is brain dump, all of the things here, Make sure to mark your important dates on the calendar. If you have a field trip or an outing or something like that, you do have space over here for your field trip. We would just be going to my parents' house, so it's not much of a field trip. You know, you have your to-dos over here. You can break it out into, you know, whether it's like resources over here or packing stuff over here, websites to check for your resource list, um, any notes that you need to make about your resources. I didn't fill out my whole thing and sometimes that's gonna be okay. Like right now I'm super tired. I think 
sleeping on things is, is going to be the right move for me. So tomorrow I need to look up Bungo Stray Dogs um, authors and works. Yeah, that's that's basically it. I'm really sorry if you came expecting something, um, you know, more aesthetic. I'm basically planning as I go, and like I said, I'm just all sorts of discombobulated today. I'm just in a mood, okay? <laughs> and I think, again, the, the best thing for that is to just go to sleep and try again tomorrow. Oh, hey, I have that merge cube thingamajig. Let's figure out something to do with that. See? Inspiration can strike at any time. Also, um, maybe Pat will do a thing this week. Uh, we can also go into what is the solstice, which would also be a current event. That's, that's it. That's all she wrote. That's all I'm writing. And again, thanks for tuning into Vlog Humbug. Maybe by next week I will have something else. <laughs> We're gonna just go with it and um, I'm gonna write admin down here so that I have my to-dos in my my face here. So tomorrow I need to transfer pages to A5. And yeah, that's that's it. Okay, thanks, bye!